don't get me wrong, probably I would, if I had to put a number on it, I'd probably say 95% of it. So there seems to be a lot of misconceptions about Thailand. Let's talk about it. Just like anywhere else in the world, you might hear a lot of bad stories about a certain place, but you don't really know until you get there and you actually get the full experience. Okay, so let's get right into it. First things first, driving in Thailand. Yes, the roads here can be very dangerous. Crossing the road is always a mission, but I'm a firm believer if you take the you know normal precautionary steps, you should probably be okay. Wear the proper equipment. Don't drink and drive, obviously. If you're planning on riding a bike here, I would say try to get some experience if you don't have any. Maybe take like a, a riding class or something in your home country before you come just so you can get a little more comfortable because it can be a little nerve wracking at times with all the traffic. Like we said, the big one, just don't drink and drive. I think a decent amount of the accidents here do come from drinking and driving. So obviously, Wear a helmet, don't drink. So another super big misconception here is that all the clothes you see are fake. Don't get me wrong, probably I would, if I had to put a number on it, I'd probably say 95% of it, the like designer stuff you see is gonna be fake. But if that's something you like to do while you're on vacation, if you do like to go shopping, go spend some money, get some new clothes and stuff, one of my favorite things, honestly, there are plenty of places here to go get real stuff, especially if you're, you know, in Bangkok. There's a couple places here in Pattaya, Phuket, if you want to go get some real designer stuff, they have plenty of big shopping malls. I mean, even if you're in, you know, Gucci, Louis Vuitton, stuff like that, you can go get the real stuff. And it's going to be pricey just like it is everywhere else in the world. So is all the food here crazy spicy? Um, in general, yes. If you're from a Western country, the food here is probably gonna have a little more bite than what you're used to. But there are plenty of dishes that are super chill, not spicy at all. Most of the places, especially in the tra uh, like the travel slash tourist destinations, if you ask somebody for no spicy, learn how to say that in Thai, you'll be all right. Another one is that you like have to know how to use chopsticks to be able to eat here, which is just so not true. So there's like a few traditional Thai dishes that a lot of people eat with chopsticks, but it's still plenty possible to eat them without chopsticks. I've read this multiple times and it kind of blew my mind before I came here, but standard is spoon and fork. Now, if you feel like you need a knife, sometimes that might be kind of hard, but you don't need to know how to use chopsticks. It helps but it's not necessary. As I'm sitting here editing this video, I realized I forgot one more, and that is that it's a complete waste of time to take a vacation here during rainy season. Now yes, obviously, if you do that, it's gonna rain, and at some point, you're probably gonna have to change your plans according to the rain. 
But nice thing is when it does rain, it usually only rains for, you know, maybe an hour or two, and then you'll be good to go. And the cheaper prices and everything being less crowded can more than make this worth it. As always, guys, thank you so much for tuning in to Tempest TV. If you'd like to see more and learn more from Thailand, go down, smash that subscribe button. I upload daily content. If there's some more you'd like to learn about good times and good things to do in Thailand, go ahead and click on this video right here. And as always, have a great day. I love you. Bye.